I woke up with an intense chest pressure, um, so intense that it felt like someone was pushing me down onto the bed and stopping me from sitting up. I felt really sick and really hot. The chest pressure was unbelievable and it radiated into my left arm. I remember looking at my arm and thinking it, it wasn't my arm, it felt like somebody else's. And at this point I thought it could be my heart and I needed to get help. I remember saying I was born in this hospital, I don't want to die there as well. Three months after I was discharged, I emailed Dr Hadlam and said, I don't know if you'll remember me, <laughs> the one with the rare heart condition. <laughs> like to find out a bit more about SCAD and you were the one person that really spoke to me about that. SCAD is a condition which essentially strikes out of the blue. It affects otherwise completely healthy, young, fit women. What happens is in the vessel wall you get a spontaneous bruise and it builds up and it becomes tense and it compresses the vessel wall from the outside and stops blood passing down the coronary artery and uh, supplying the heart muscle and can cause people to have a heart attack. So in, until recently, patients who had SCAD were on their own. Patients themselves using social media began to find each other online and allowed patients to discuss and share their experiences. The group just continues to grow, so we had around 30 um, at the beginning of 2013 and now there's about 380 who have registered for, for the research. It's been great that we've had support in terms of a grant from the British Heart Foundation to support our research and enable us to get the ball rolling, to start to collect data on these patients, to understand why does this happen? How can we predict potentially or prevent further problems in patients who've got this condition? Because I don't know why it happened. One of the biggest fears with, with SCAD is that it might happen again. We're all looking for answers. That, that's the common theme amongst the, the patient group and the BHF support and the research um, gives us hope of those answers. The potential of the research is to better define who is at risk of having SCAD and really to raise awareness and to educate more, more doctors and the general public about this condition.